Okay, let's start with an empty project. Let's call it Lunar Lander. Once again, this is me. And Windows Hide and Width to 800 by 600. Sorry, Width and Hide, 800 by 600. Do the same for the layout. Now create the layer background with a solid black color. Create one for the gameplay. And another one for the GUI or graphic user interface. Let's start by adding a background, which in this case is just an image. Okay, now in the gameplay layer, create a ship. And set its angle to zero degrees. Remember that it's a good practice to disable collisions in any element that it's not gonna be affected by them, so we save some CPU process. Okay, go back to the ship and throw in a bound to layout, rotate, and custom movement behavior. And set speed to zero to rotate. Now insert a keyboard object to control our ship. Okay, first, when the right arrow is down, set rotate a speed to 45 degrees per second. And when the key, when the left arrow key is down, set it to minus 45. Now invert them, and when both keys are not down, set rotate speed to zero. So it will stop. Okay, pressing left, pressing right, and releasing the keys. Cool. Okay, now just adjust the origin point so the rotation doesn't look weird. It should look like a spaceship. Okay, in the game, the ship has different speeds, so let's create an instance variable named current speed, a number variable, a numeric variable, and set it to zero. And when the up arrow is pressed, and current speed is lower than four, we have four speeds in this game. Let's add one to current speed. In this way, the value of current speed will never be greater than four. 
Do the same with the down arrow. But this time, if current speed is greater than zero, we need to subtract one from current speed. And this takes care this takes care of our gear shifting. Now let's check the value of current speed. When current speed is 1, we're gonna accelerate towards accelerate towards angle. Let's say 2, a value of 2, and in angle is the ship's current angle. So we'll go forward. Now repeat the process, but when current speed is 2, we're going to accelerate 4. When current speed is 3, accelerate 6. And when current speed is 4, accelerate 8. And finally, when current speed is 0, select accelerate forward minus one so the ship will slowly stop you can of course tweak these values to make the ship move faster but remember that you're in outer space and the trick of the game is that the ship should be hard to control because you have no gravity or almost no gravity